Right, so before uh, printing my design and um, start doing this overlay, let, let's examine what's actually, um, uh, what is this doing. So this is basically plastic and this is generally uh, screen printed. Uh, so you can see it's fairly matte surface on this and a bit of a uh, glossy surface on that. Um, so basically, I mean, you can't quite see from this. Um, I'll put a light on. So um, basically, the white bits are fairly. Um, let's move it a bit. So the white bits are fairly um, translucent, so you can see the light through, and the dark bits, uh, the black, uh, really doesn't doesn't let any any. Um, a light going through. Um, so if I turn it around, uh, same thing, these are really translucent, so let me uh, switch off the light so you can see how um, this compares without the light. Uh, so basically, uh, as I said, these are, these are screen printed and I don't really have any uh, screen print printing equipment. Uh, I asked a few companies if, it can, if they can screen print it for me and it turns out it costs roughly between I mean I had several quotes, quotes roughly between 300 and 550 pounds um, so that was uh, pretty expensive to me uh, so basically you have a several, several layers of, of uh, ink uh, you let it dry uh, you can mask some of these to have the light uh, be not so uh, shiny as in the stop and um, no ink on the on the numbers. So uh, what what I needed was um, some paper that can lay pretty thick ink, black ink, uh, that will stop uh, the light shining through when it's put on the instrument cluster. And I need it for the for the paper where I don't put any ink for the white uh, bits for the numbers and. Um, uh, the points on these numbers to to let uh, light through. So for my um, instrument cluster, the, the LED lights are actually orange or red. So um, uh, this works perfectly if, if um, these are white bits. So it just shines through the orange bit from the the orange light from the LEDs. So if yours are not, um, I just uh, normal light. They're not colored so then you might need to put some um, uh, masking uh, paper at the back to to to, ch to change the color but I'll, I'll try to do these two designs and see and uh, show you how this has been done uh, so uh, so before I start printing uh, let me show you how uh, what my end design is uh, so this is how how it looks like um, it's an actual well. It's a, one of my um, one of my designs. So I already uh, have changed the uh, the kilometers to 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 miles around the speedometer, and I have the kilometers inside of a slightly different color. And uh, pretty much everything else is the same. I've already said from the Inkscape video. I've simplified the design a bit, so I don't really have this. Um, so I don't really have these. Um, slightly greyish color here, so I only have it as black, so that's that's much easier. And here it's, you probably can see it, it's a bit um, on below the the zero. There is a kind of a red, uh, a bit of a more complicated design. Mine is just a just a black do uh, red dot, so it's much easier to print, and I don't really need that much of a resolution. Otherwise, it's it it looks pretty good. It's slightly. Um, shinier but it's not that much shinier when you put it in the car uh, so I've um, I've uh, stuck a, a, I've glued a tr transparency film at the back so it's slightly more rigid slightly more stable so really when you held it like that it, it doesn't it, it stays flat uh, so um, Originally, when you, I'll show you what what paper I'm I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, so I, um, for sticking these two together, I'm using um, 3M spray mount. Um, it's fairly alright. It 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 
uh, has uh, several problems with it. Um, it sprays in, in kind of fine uh, dots uh, that um, it's not really quite liquid, it's a bit uh, hard. Um, glues it, it, it glues very quickly, so it, it, it sets very quickly, um, so you don't really have much time to, to adjust anything. Um, so this this paper, it's silk paper, I'll show you what this paper is, but it was much shinier before. Uh, so I um, put a inject, inkjet fix mat, uh, so this is, you just apply it on top, of, I'll show you later in the video how this is done. You just spray it on top of the paper and it turns it into more matte um, uh, it, than glossy. So it's actually pretty good, it smells horrible of, of diesel. Uh, so you, you when you want to do that, um, when you want to use it somewhere that is ventilated, and um, uh, you have to set it somewhere to where you don't really uh, smell it that much. So I use my kitchen, but um, basically I'll do it in the morning. So by the end of the evening, it would have uh, the smell would have cleared. Right. So let me show you what what I've tried before and why it doesn't work and I've stopped at this particular paper. So what I um, ended up using is um, this HP Professional laser paper 130 grams glossy. Um, I mean my printer is, is um, so my printer is an inkjet printer, but it actually prints uh, pretty well uh, on this paper. Uh, so this is a 430 grams per square meter. Um, so I tried all sorts of papers, mostly for inkjet printers that didn't work out very well. Uh, but it really prints fantastically well on this on this laser paper. So um, let me have a, a piece of paper. It's kind of a it's kind of a silky and it's glossy, it's kind of a silky feel from both sides, so it's the same. Uh, but the light really shines, shines, um, doesn't shine through the paper too much. Uh, maybe I can show with the, with a the lamp. Um, does it really kind of, kind of stops, um, stops the paper shining too much. Uh, and when you lay ink on it, uh, then there is no light, no light coming through whatsoever from the from the black ink. So uh, this is what I uh, ended up using. I know it's a it's a laser, but a laser paper, but it actually works fairly well with my printer. So you have to really basically the, the it's a trial to find what uh, paper works for you. So let me show you stuff that I tried. Um, so I have a, a transparency paper here. So I um, let's see, we can we can have a look at that one. Um, so it's pretty well. I mean, the, the the resolution is pretty good. I mean, I'm not too sure you can see the resolution from that, but um, works pretty well. The only problem is that uh, you can probably see how um, it's not entirely. Um, Shining. It's not entirely transparent, so you can see everything underneath, and doesn't really block the light too much. So, um, I mean, you could potentially stick two, uh, two transparencies together, uh, hook them, align them, and then it blocks the light a bit more, uh, but it's still quite transparent. So I can show you um, with a lamp how how this goes. So you can see, I mean, you can see pretty much everything through. So it doesn't really block the light that much, and um, uh, didn't quite work. Uh, you could potentially um, put one of these laser papers uh, in between, uh, align them and uh, glue them together, and that kind of works all right. Um, but uh, let, me, let me see how this works. So this. Uh, lining them together, so this kind of works all right, and it, it it blocks the light fairly well. I mean, it's not entire. There is a bit of a a light haze, um, 
but works all right. Uh, the only problem is that um, this particular glue, uh, because you basically on these transparencies you only print uh, the black color or the red, uh, and this if you want to put on top, you saw to to see the the white. You have a contrast between the white and the uh, and the black. So when you uh, spray the spray mount the glue between, you saw to stick this transparency paper on the on the white paper. I mean somehow you can when 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 it's on the on the white you can somehow see the glue in between so it's not really I mean it works all right I mean you, one could potentially do it uh, but it's somehow you can see it and then I mean you can see it it shines a bit too much I mean you could potentially spray it with the with the inkjet fix um, the matte fix uh, but I found this this printing on this laser uh, professional laser paper, the HP professional laser paper, it uh, uh, works uh, much better than uh, using the transparencies. So transparencies didn't work out. So initially, I um, didn't think that uh, uh, my instrument cluster, uh, the LEDs, uh, uh, orange itself. So I had a, a masking tape between, so to have a kind of a orangey um, glow through. So um, yeah, with transparencies, basically you have this problem. I mean, no matter how much ink you you lay on, uh, as you can see how transparent this is. Let me move this away. So you can see how uh, transparent this is um, at any um, any setting. So either my paper, my transparency film wasn't really good quality, but. I mean, I've tried with another one. It's pretty much the same result. So if you if you do this with a laser printer, probably work a lot better than with an inkjet printer. Uh, but I don't really have an access to laser printer, so I'm using my inkjet printer. So I tried different colors uh, for this um, for this purpose. Uh, the problem is when you don't really have. So this is the same HP laser paper. Uh, so it's it, it's shiny from both sides. So when you um, Print it uh, with 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 some color because it wasn't initially thought not to be not to be um, black color. I wanted to be silver, uh, but uh, really shines through uh, when 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 you have some some other color than, than than black. This is not really the most black I've put on, uh, so really shines through and it's not um, it's not that good. So I set on on the black. Uh, the black design. Um, I also tried with um, uh, with this particular paper. Well, I don't really have any more sample because I used them all. This was just ten uh, testing samples. So this is a, a backlit film, uh, an A4 backlit film. It's it's Ario RTL 49, and it has a, a matte in a white side. So I have one here, uh, one of these. Test print. So it, it has a matte, so this is really the matte side, so you can see it doesn't really shine, and you have a bright side which really shines through. So when you print on the on the um, the shiny side, uh, my ink doesn't really stick at all. It just basically smudges, no matter how much ink I put in. Even the smallest amount, it just still smudges, it doesn't really want to dry. So from the matte side, it's, it's, it's actually perfect. I mean, it's really matte, and you don't need to put that much ink in, uh, ink on, and, and it's quite good. Um, also, so if you put the light, also really the black really blocks the light fairly well. Um, I mean, you can't quite see it, but it blocks the light fairly well if you uh, stick another transparency behind. The only problem with this was. Um, Somehow, when you uh, put kind of intermediate amount of ink, the black is not really black. I mean, you can't quite see it on this, but it, it, it turns kind of gray. Initially, it's uh, not gray, it turns kind of greenish. Initially, it's really black, but by the time it kind of dries out, it becomes grayish. Uh, so, I have another one. You can probably see the difference. Um, so, here, I've really dumped a lot of ink. On, um, so you can modify how much ink you put on uh, from your printer settings and 
the difference is it, it, it's quite striking. You can see that, well, you can't quite see if it's greyish, but this is quite black. The only problem with the black is when you have some finer details like the, like um, these small uh, um, bits and the numbers. Um, when you put that much ink, it doesn't really absorb it that quickly and it, it, it kind of starts uh, smudging and starts of going in between so these really are not that sharp the, the the lines become not that sharp so but that was actually really good paper if you're um, so that's the paper that's really good paper if you really um, your printer really allows to do that definitely uh, use it it's quite quite nice paper it's really matte um, so I tried um, from this that is kind of greenish uh, tried spraying the ink to fix to make it matte uh, but if it's a bit of a problem um, you can't quite dose it I mean it's sometimes sprays in a slightly bigger blob sometimes sprays in a fine um, fine mist um, and the more you put in the more layers you put in it becomes this this matte paper really becomes kind of shiny and it's not really consistent so I really um, did not do that. Uh, there is some test on the same paper on the same paper at the back uh, so you can see how uh, there is a transparency on top but you can see how it just really smudged the ink and it didn't really want to um, dry quite nicely so um, this was one of my tests on this um, paper the uh, HP paper and it works out fairly well so I have some tests on a normal paper so I decided yeah I might do it on a normal paper put a, a backing at the back but the, the resolution is not really that good you've got some fine um, uh, from the paper you've got these fine threads that, that you can see I mean it's not really sharp edge um, I suspect a laser printer will be a lot better uh, than an inkjet printer but well um, I don't really have an access to uh, an inkjet printer so let me see, so I varied the amount of ink, so this turned out a bit reddish, so I... Um, so let's see what else I've tried, I mean I've tried a variety of, of really uh, different papers. Uh, so this is some... Um, I tried this design with a kind of... tried to imitate silverish color, but it didn't quite work out. So I've tried some HP um, Premium Plus uh, photo paper and the quality is, is it, it's pretty good uh, but it's not entirely black uh, but actually it's, 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 it's pretty nice um, pretty nice color a lot shiny a lot glossy uh, so you can probably spray uh, this matte and make it uh, but it doesn't really let light through much so when you put it in the car um, the, the black doesn't really block uh, the light that much. I mean the video doesn't do it justice, but it doesn't really block the black doesn't really block the light So it's kind of a uh, Doesn't quite uh, Really work uh, very well. So I need something that the black could stop the light. So I tried another of these papers, but that was slightly better. It's some sort of a everyday I don't know HP uh, photo paper It's quite good uh, but again the resolution I mean you can't quite see it but the resolution is not it's not that great so I tried a different paper not HP this time it also didn't uh, didn't quite work out so I also tried on on uh, a vellum paper uh, for screen printing that's actually not too bad it's really matte um, you can put a lot of ink but it somehow the, 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 you can't probably quite see it, but somehow the black ink goes onto the white, uh, onto the white letters. It doesn't really uh, work out very well. So I tried that. I tried to probably I can flick through. I tried all sorts of designs and laid uh, on top uh, masks and sticking a few um, transparencies together it, it didn't really quite work out uh, so my um, so let's see I, uh, this is the this is the vellum paper 
it's quite nice paper, so you, I couldn't quite use it. So um, I also had some acetate paper. Um, probably can't quite see it. So it's Crafter's Companion. So that that works all right. Uh, but I, for my transparencies, I generally use the uh, OHP transparency film for inkjet printers. And that's a fairly, it's a fairly good paper. Uh, that's for inkjet. Um, so let's let's take out and quickly uh, show you one of these papers. It's really transparent. So it's really transparent. So it has two sides. One is really uh, smooth side. Uh, that's a non you don't print on that, so the other one is coated with um, so it's slightly rougher, so if you put your finger on it's slightly rougher uh, and uh, there is an inkjet uh, layer on there, some, some coating that uh, can help um, absorb the ink from the inkjet printer so this is the paper that I, I use for, for that I use for these uh, overlays well, so um, um, so I have several designs here that I've printed. I tried with this white, uh, but it lets the uh, the light shine through because the LCD. So I I removed this white. This is fairly good design. So I haven't really treated this with a with a fixative, and you you can see how shiny this is. Um, so where is my other design? So I can show you to compare the two when. And you have fix it, uh, this inkjet uh, matte fixity form, and when you don't have one, so this is the original paper. So you see how shiny this is, and this is the matte paper. So it's not. So let me put them together so you can compare them. So one is really shiny, uh, and the other is not that shiny. It's, it's kind of has a matte. Uh, finish to it. So when you put it in the car, you don't really want the sun to shine on your instrument cluster and not blind you, but it's a bit of a reflective surface. So I've uh, done that. So um, so I had several of these designs. So I tried with a marker, with a red marker here, or tried with the red marker here, but it doesn't really um, doesn't work quite well. So kind of the the ink. Uh, bleeds through from from the solvent in the in the permanent marker. So um, let me show you now what kind of printer I have. It's a really ordinary um, inkjet printer, all in one. Uh, it's nothing really uh, really fancy. So what I really forgot to say is that um, the transparency paper would would actually work fairly well for this purpose. So you you would normally have your Design that you want to see through. Um, you have something white for the for the white, uh, but to, to to see the contrast, and then you have the the, the rest of the transparency in the back. You align them, stick them all together, and that would work fairly well. Um, what you can do is if well, my inkjet printer uh, doesn't really. Um, what you need is for the transparency paper to really have a thick. Uh, black ink that doesn't really uh, let the light through. Uh, if if you if your printer really puts a very good ink down and, and it really blocks, or you have really better quality, but I don't know what kind of better quality transparency paper you can you can buy. If you really have a something that really blocks the light quite a bit, so then on the white paper you can have a, a color design. Then you put um, the transparency paper behind. So you'll be able to um, to block the light, to block the light, and see um, your design in, in whatever color. So I can't really do that. So that's why I've um, concentrated on the black uh, color. Even two doesn't work, and once you try to stick uh, three together, it becomes a bit of a, a bit of a problem. And my um, glue somehow you can see it through you can see it through these. Um, these openings in 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 the ink. Uh, so if your, um, as I said before, if your instrument cluster doesn't really, uh, your lights uh, are not in color, uh, so you have to put some, uh, put some mask uh, at the back. 
So you put this in the back, align them, stick them together, and then you have the orange or red or whatever color you want uh, uh, shining through. Uh, well, uh, that's it. So if you can, I suspect that one from a laser printer, uh, that would work uh, fairly well. Um, I don't really have access to a laser printer. I could have gone to some, some shop and asked them to, to print them, but oh, I couldn't. It worked out for, for, with this laser paper. I can put thick ink that doesn't let uh, the light shine through. So it, it's alright. But if you can find something that really blocks the line, uh, it would be perfect. So this is my printer. It's nothing really, no sophisticated printer, nothing. It's all in one HP 6110, uh, all in one. Um, it's nothing really fancy. I've had it for more than for more than 10 years. So it's just your um, normal standard printer. So it has uh, two heads. One is uh, one is black, and that's uh, number 56 um, HP Black Ink. And you have 57, uh, which is uh, the tricolor uh, ink cartridge. So basically, that's it. Um, that's my that's my printer that I've used for these uh, overlays.